Klein bottle is a cool mathematical shape. It's an example of a non-orientable surface. So if you were standing on it and tried to walk all the way around back to where you started, you'd get there, but you'd be standing upside down. It also has no boundaries and is only one-sided, which is pretty cool. Not many shapes have only one side. A true Klein bottle, however, would require four dimensions to exist um, because it has to pass through itself without a hole. But you can knit a representation in 3D. I've made this one earlier and I'll show you how I made it. It's actually just one piece of knitting, so the outside goes through, becomes the inside, which then connects back to itself through this little hole here, uh, and then continues around. I'll show you all the steps you need to make one, um, but I'll also post some links to more in-depth tutorials on each new stitch technique um, because I might go through them relatively fast. I'd say if you're a total beginner and have never knitted anything, you could almost set aside a whole day to make this, um, but of course a lot less time if you're a pro. Okay, so this is what you'll need. Some wool, four double pointed needles, Mine are 5.5 millimeters wide and 20 centimeters long. Three stitch markers. These are optional. You could also use a safety pin, key rings, or just use your math skills and count. Later on, you might also find it useful to have a tapestry needle. Start by casting on 19 stitches. This will determine the size of the top tube. You want to spread the stitches evenly over three needles, but transfer one extra to the first needle for the purpose of joining in the round. To join, you make a slip knot over a stitch, then transfer it back to where it came from. Watch the video in the description for more help on this. I'm inserting one of my stitch markers to mark the end of a round. You then want to knit in the round using a regular knit stitch until the tube measures about 8 inches or 20 centimeters. Then we want to increase the amount of stitches. Do this evenly by forming six sections. Start by making a stitch, then knit three more. Place a marker, make another stitch, and knit to the end of the needle. Repeat this all the way around and you will have made six new stitches. Then knit a normal round. Repeating the last two steps six more times means you'll end up with 60 stitches in total, 20 on each needle. When you make stitches, do so at the start of each section. The stitch markers help to make it even and they travel up as you knit, but you could always just count. Remove the markers and insert one like a safety pin. This one won't travel up as we go. Knit normally in the round until the work measures one inch or about two and a half centimeters from the marker. We will work a few rows back and forth to form the side opening. Turn the work around and start knitting in the opposite direction. To do this, you will need to use the purl stitch that comes through the front. 
Work around like this, then turn back to normal and knit back. Don't knit across the gap you are trying to form. Repeat these two rows once more. Then resume knitting in the round normally until the work measures about 40 centimeters or 16 inches from the marker. Less distance is required if you're making it for a smaller head. This is the most time consuming part of the project. To shape it down, we want to decrease our stitches back down to 18. I'll do this by forming the six sections again. At the start of each section, slip two stitches. This will decrease the total number of stitches by six every round. When you're down to 18 in total, knit three normal rounds and cast off. Leave a longer tail than I did here because we will use it to sew the hat together. I've got a tapestry needle, you could also try to do this using a bobby pin or something else. Push the long tube through the opening until it meets the short tube and stitch them together. Fasten it any way you like. A bit of rearrangement and your Klein bottle is complete. Leave me a comment if you decide to try it out or if you get stuck. Best of luck with your mathematical creations. <laughs>